Hey everybody. Well, I've had about a week of really amazing weather. It's been hotter than I'll get out down here. And I really warm today. Uh, and I wanted to show you how good the doggone tomatoes are doing. Uh, that's in that second Dutch bucket build I did. Uh, the cucumbers, they're right up by, there behind them. Got uh, flowers and cucumbers going already on those, so that's really cool. I'm getting excited my eggplant over here is growing. I've never grown eggplant. I don't know anything in the world about it. So uh, I'm really excited about doing it. Um, I heard it likes the heat. Eh, well, we're gonna find out. If it likes the heat, it's in the right spot because it's honest. It's nuts over there today, guys. Anyway, I've been getting a lot of mail and uh, asking me all kinds of questions about what I'm doing, this and that. Uh, you know, like I said before, guy, I'm no expert, but I'm sure willing to, uh, to tell you what I know or at least try to explain it to you. And uh, I got three uh, letters this week, or letters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> three emails. <laughs> oh gosh, okay, yeah. I got three emails this week all asking me about pH. How the heck do I keep it stable and do I worry about it? Um, I don't worry about it, but I do maintain it. Uh, so anyway, we'll go over that. And, uh, and, that's, uh, and that's pertaining uh, to a uh, freshwater reservoir. That all ties into the same thing. They asked me about freshwater reservoirs and pH. Oddly enough, that just goes together, guys. It's like, uh, it's amazing. Anyway, I'll get to that and I'll explain that to you uh, as, I, as I see it and at least what's been working for me. But I'm gonna grab a chair and I'm gonna sit down by these tomatoes so you can see those real good because they're really taking off. They are really taking off. All right. It's warm over here. <laughs> it's crazy. Anyway, guys, these are the tomatoes that uh, I put in when I uh, <coughs> did part two of uh, the last Dutch bucket build. And, uh, little sucker there. But they're doing very, very well, uh, extremely well. They're just taking off. The cucumbers are doing as well, too. I'll show you those. I got cucumbers on them starting. Uh, the hand-watered cocoa, uh, koi, it's, it's going. But it, nowhere near like this. Nowhere near. This is yeah. This thing's just going crazy. Um, and the darn uh, eggplant over there, they seem to just be taking off too. But like I say, I've never grown them, so I'm not really sure what to expect. Okay. Anyway, guys, I've been getting a lot of mail, and uh, I noticed uh, three things in particular that came back uh, a few times. <laughs> three. <laughs> <laughs> pertaining to pH I don't worry about my pH anymore at all because uh, I have a fresh water reservoir and that was the other question do I have a fresh wa uh, water reservoir and why do I run it? the reason I run it is because no matter what at, when your plants are transpiring all this water they're not necessarily transpiring nutrients they're using the nutrients that they're going to need and use and uh, that they're craving and desiring but they need to transpire the water, right? Just to keep the cells hydrated. Now, same in humans. <laughs> anyway, so they're, they're transpiring the water all the time. So as that water level's dropping, if you don't have a fresh water reservoir that's, reservoir that's gonna keep uh, that constant volume, that's gonna drop. And as it's dropping, the plants are transpiring the water, the nutrients are concentrating in the water and you, your parts per million reading is just going through the roof. And because most of the nutrients on the market are very acidic, as they're concentrating, your pH is just heading for the floor. So if you maintain a proper constant volume of water, that doesn't happen. So when you're taking readings, and I'm sorry guys, yeah, I live in a neighborhood. <laughs> a tight little neighborhood. <laughs> so as you're taking your readings, if you maintain that reservoir constantly at the same time with the same amount of water in it all the time, you can actually watch the nutrients leave. You can measure those components now because you have a baseline. You know that the level of, of, of nutrient solution is the same, but now the nutrients are missing because the plants are eating them. Okay. The pH just seems to stay rock solid until 
until you start to get a real big uh, swing in your parts per million. Like say, uh, if you let it go, let it go, let it go, and the plants are eating it, then you may get a, a slight rise in pH because of the pH up that's in there. But you know, it doesn't seem to go anywhere. I, I, I honestly don't know if it does or not, but guys, your pH problems will be over. So, you know, try it, check it out. Um, it's worked for me. Um, and I know now when I take a, a, a reading, uh, it makes sense. The parts per million, I can just watch them drop. And that's when I know, hey, you know, I, I, I need to replenish this reservoir. And I suggest that you do replenish the reservoir. Pump it all out every couple of weeks and put in new nutrients. The reason for this is just because you're checking your parts per million and you're saying, oh, it's down to 650. Oh, that's great. I'll just throw some more in. Well, the plants are not necessarily just eating everything all at the same time, nitrogen, phosphorus. And all, so the NPK could be like, the N's probably always going to drop because they're needing that for growth. But those other numbers could come up really high and you wind up with a nutrient imbalance and that'll kill them. Straight up, just, you know, too much. So that's why I do it. I do it every 14 days. That's just what I do. Uh, I let the nutrient level drop down pretty low then and then I change them out. But that's what's up with the freshwater reservoir. It helps to maintain that pH perfectly. And, and on top of that, guys, you don't have to come out and keep filling her up, filling her up, <laughs> filling her up. Man, <laughs> no, it, yeah, it'll just make it easy. This system, I add water to it, well, about right now, about every nine days, uh, 10 days. When it gets really hot, it might be once a week, but I've got a 15 gallon freshwater reservoir there. So I don't have to, you know, be out here with the hose all the time doing it. And I've got littler reservoirs on all of my systems, which I'm gonna go to the 20 gallon ones so that, you know, if I get to take off for a day or whatever, uh, I can. So anyway, guys, I wanna show you the, uh, these cucumbers here and show you a close up of the tomatoes. The tomatoes are, uh, are looking absolutely spectacular. I, I, I feel, check this out. Uh, I'll grab the camera and give you like the little bird's eye view. Well, I guess I should start with these guys. These are the, uh, these are in the hand wanted, uh, watered cocoa coir. They, they've taken off. They're doing very, very well. I'll show you the peppers as well. The peppers are quite nice. They're, they're actually doing uh, nicer than the hydroponic ones, oddly enough. And I think it's because in these uh, big black pots, uh, the, the, well, I was going to say soil, the cocoa warms up and uh, those roots are having a holiday. Now, these are the same tomatoes, guys. The same darn ones. Look at these babies go. I mean, they're just kicking it. Those are probably 16 to 18 inches tall. Uh, here's the other guy. They're, they're just really, really taking off. Now you can see down there, I've still got some algae happening here. As these get a little bigger, I'll be putting white film under here. So that'll, that'll eliminate that. <laughs> check out these little, <laughs> check out these darn cucumbers, guys. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> They're just up. I, I, gosh, I think they're, no, well, three weeks or something. I forget. I'll have to check the video date. But anyway, <laughs> that's uh, that's how quick uh, it's going. Uh, things are looking awesome for me. I know. I'm sorry. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm dying down here. It's hot. So guys, that's the uh, that's the tomatoes and the cucumbers. I'm, yeah, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm getting cucumbers already. Anyway, Dutch buckets. I'm completely sold on. They're absolutely amazing. <laughs> I've gotten better results out of these than anything. Uh, so next week, yeah, I'll show you the pak choy. It's coming along really nice. It's still kind of small, but in the NFT system. And uh, we'll get into the peppers I got going a little bit here. And I discovered I mixed up a pepper and a, <laughs> an eggplant and got them in two different systems. So that's another good thing about Dutch buckets. If you do a boneheaded thing like that, you can grab that bucket <laughs> switch it over to the other system okay <laughs> anyway guys I, I hope that answers some of the questions about the ph and 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 you guys in the mail um yeah i know it <laughs> i i and i said i don't worry about it and i guess i should get into that about the ph i don't worry about it anymore because i just i weigh it i put it in and i know what ph it is when i weigh it and guys 
that between 5.5 and the 6.5, don't sweat it. That's just the sweet spot. That's the spot where things are just going at their optimum. Everything's available for them. But you don't have to be there and 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 and, uh, and thing you know things not grow for you. I, look, if you throw these darn nutrients in water, usually they're 4.3 right from the gate. Now I know people that just run it, don't bother, and the results are are decent. You know, I would say decent, not optimum, but doggone, you know, it, it works. So don't be over overly concerned with it. It's you know. Um, just kind of shoot for that sweet spot and if you can get it in there awesome if not just keep plugging along uh, because uh, the rewards are amazing all right guys listen that's all i got this time and until next time we'll see y'all later and above all things above all things make an effort be good to each other be good to each other above all things guys <laughs>